In this video you will learn how to apply a cape skin on your Logitech G502. So let's get started. To apply the skin you will need two things, to be under bright lighting and patience. Depending on your order, there are three skins included in your package. First is the body skin, then the button skins and the side button skins. A trustworthy microfiber cloth will help you out in the application and you will also need a hair dryer. So pause the video until you get everything in place. Welcome back. First, use the microfiber cloth included in the package and give your G502 a good cleaning. Let's apply the button skins. Take the right button skin and align it with the button as shown. Make sure the skins are aligned perfectly on all edges of the button. Once aligned, apply some pressure on it. Now take the left button skin and apply it similarly. Once done, rub the buttons with a microfiber cloth for 10 to 12 times. Now let's apply the body skins. Take out the side piece from the 3M paper and align it with the side edge like this, making sure it is perfectly straight. Once aligned, apply some pressure to the skins. Heat the area shown for good 10 to 15 seconds. Once heated, the skin shall soften up and then you can apply some pressure to them. Do remember if you get any creases or bubbles while applying the skin, you can slowly peel back the skin and heat it. Once heated brightly, the skins may be easy to apply at the curves. Rub the skins with a microfiber cloth for a smooth finish. Now let's apply the next piece. Remove the piece from the 3M paper and align it with the G logo and the top edge as shown. Once it's aligned, apply some pressure near that area. Give heat for 5 to 10 seconds and keep applying the skins bit by bit. Keep applying the skins around by giving heat to remove any unwanted bubbles and creases. Once heated, the skin starts off enough, which helps the skins to be flexible enough with the curved body. At any given point the skins do not stick right, you can slowly peel them off and apply again. 
once applied, it shall look like this. Now let's apply the side piece. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and align it like this. Slowly, apply pressure near the hollow parts and apply the skin. Give heat to the skins for 10 to 15 seconds. Once heated, give some pressure and apply the skins. In case you see any creases or bubbles, you can peel back the skins and apply them again by heating that part. Once applied, rub a microfiber cloth on the skins for a smooth finish. Now, take out the top body piece and align it as shown. Slowly, apply pressure near the hollow path and apply the skins. Give heat to the skin for 10 to 15 seconds. Once heated, keep applying the skins bit by bit. Once applied, Rub a microfiber cloth on the skins for a smooth finish. That looks great. Now let's add some customization. Let's apply the side button skins. Remove the piece from the 3M paper and reattach it as shown. Keep applying the piece while aligning it rightly with the LED indicator cutouts. Now, let's take the other pieces and align it similarly to the buttons. Now apply the center button skins and the G502 is complete with the application. So say hello to your new G502.